we're going to go over some ground school for spiral recovery because it's such an important aspect of safety for trikes. Now, here we are in our weight shift control aircraft pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge. This book is more or less the ground school for trikes. So we're going to go back and do a little bit of review here. We're going to go into our chapter four aerodynamics of flight and we're going to uh, we assume you've been through some uh, uh, basics here. So typically, if you're flying straight and level, you, if you have a thousand pounds of weight, you're going to need a thousand pounds of lift to be able to uh, stay level. Now, when you go into a high bank turn, uh, you can see how your total lift uh, is goes off to the side here. So you have to create more total lift to be able to get your vertical component of lift that will be able to lift your weight. So now that your total lift, that is broken up into your vertical component and your horizontal component. So there's a little review as far as your, your forces. Now we're going to go over to your advanced flight maneuvers. And here we've got our <clears throat> reference diagram here. Uh, which we just went over. Now, if you go into a very high banked turn, we, we, we notice that our total lift goes way out here. So if we want to stay level, we need to generate a whole lot of lift here to just be able to get that vertical component of lift to be able to lift our weight. And of course, when we've got that horizontal, large horizontal component, this is drawing us uh, very quickly to the right here because we've got such a large component pulling us in that direction direction. And let's see, we're going to go back to our aerodynamics of flight here. And we're going to go down and look at our situation here and our, with our load factor. Now, uh, most of us know that in a 60 degree bank turn, our load factor is about two. 70 degrees, our load factor is three. We get up to 80 degrees. Notice how fast that load factor goes up. 80 degree turn, our load factor goes up to six. That's uh, an incredible increase here. Once we get past, um, you know, 45, especially 60 degree bank. So go back to our. So some other aspects that are uh, important as you get into, uh, you know, your high bank turns and, and for that matter, any turn at all. You may have a little bit more lift on the outside than on your inside because it's going a little bit faster. Now throttle effects. Let's, let's look at our situation here. Here we're pointed down. Our thrust line is right here. Now if you're pointed down and you give a full throttle, what's happening is you've got two components. You've got your vertical thrust which is driving you towards the ground and of course your, your horizontal thrust. So anytime you're pointed down and you give it a throttle, you're creating this vertical thrust was driving you further into the ground. So let's look at a situation here, uh, very high bank turn recovery, spiral recovery. We're in a 45 degree bank turn here. And let's just say we get um, some turbulence, uh, distraction, anything that could create a higher bank angle here. Now, here we've gone to a higher bank angle. Two things have to happen. You need to pull the bar in to reduce the pitch angle and at the same time, simultaneously, bring the bar over to level the turn. So we're really accomplishing two things when we get into this high bank turn is one, reduce the angle of attack by pulling the bar in and two, bring the bar over to level the wings. And when you do that, you'll be reducing your uh, angle of attack and rolling out so that you'll be uh, getting yourself back to a more level position. Now, this can be counterintuitive because it, what you're used to is when you push the bar out, it slows you down. Now here, if you push the bar out, it's going to speed you up into the horizontal direction, which you don't want. So that's why it's important to reduce that angle of attack and level the wings all at the same time for your spiral recovery. So there's the science behind recovering 
from very high bank turns and spirals. And we can find those details in the Weight Shift Control Handbook, Piles Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge.